Moving on to the NFC West with the defending champs, the Los Angeles Rams, who I think will once again win their division. I do think they got even better. Um, I think Allen Robinson will have a bounce back here. Cooper Cup's still amazing. Cam Akers, even more time after his injury last season, will hopefully return to a similar form that he had before he was injured. And I think people are somehow sleeping on the Rams. I I don't know if they just think like their success was really like just a very successful playoff run rather than being like the culmination of a team that has been working to this point. Call them a super team all you want. They have gotten results. You know, they've been competitive with bad quarterbacks. Now they have Matthew Stafford. If his elbow does hold up because I was reading that his elbow may be quite injured. Um, I think he's going to have another really solid year. And I think the Rams have the potential to repeat as champions. I don't know if that's crazy, but I mean, they're, they're a good team in Los Angeles and Sean McVay is a, is a great coach. It's very difficult to repeat uh, for tons of reasons i mean just look at the buccaneers they ran into a ascending rams team last season and were not able to pull off a repeat but i think that sean McVay will get the team motivated and their window is slowly closing you know it's gonna catch up with them trading all their picks but the window's still open as far as i'm concerned uh second in the afc in the nfc west will be the arizona cardinals they signed Kyler Murray to an extension with a clause for him playing video games. And instead of doing that, he should be watching film. Uh, that was very embarrassing to have come out. It was removed, but, you know, maybe this November uh, I'll be gaming and run into Kyler Murray when he should be studying film. I still think this team is talented. Obviously, DeAndre Hopkins being suspended for six games. Not great. But they got Hollywood Brown, who, if he can uh, stop speeding, will uh, be very decent as he's reunited with his college quarterback, Kyler Murray. Uh, they lost Tan Chandler Jones, which is, you know, a, a decent hit. I mean, he had a great first game of the season and then kind of tapered off from there. J.J. Watt will bat is back. How effective will he be? That uh, remains to be seen. But I do think the Cardinals will be second in this division. 49ers. So this is the real one that is tricky for me. I think they could finish anywhere from first to third, probably not fourth with the Seahawks in this division, but I do think that um, Trey Lance is a wild card. I know that the 49ers have succeeded in the past with Jimmy Garoppolo not playing really his best football. However, I feel like Trey Lance is such an unknown. He only had a few starts last season. He had an injury the season before. He only played one game in college um, due to COVID. And then the year before, he had a he had a really good year. But we, we were kind of hoping that he would play the next year, show that that one year wasn't a one-year wonder, and, you know, be good to go. He's an extremely talented quarterback. But I can't, in good conscience, say that he's not going to have, you know, the road bumps, or rather the speed bumps, that other young quarterbacks have. Like, I, I don't think it's fair or realistic to necessarily say that Trey Lance is going to come in here and be great, but he may not have to be because this 49ers team is very talented. Uh, that's why, with all that said, I, I still think that they're going to finish third in their division. Uh, the Seattle Seahawks, are starting Geno Smith. I feel like that's about all I have to say um, about them. Obviously, they had a tumultuous offseason trading their star quarterback, Russell Wilson. Uh, Pete Carroll's not getting any younger. I don't really see where this is going to go. I don't necessarily see how this could be a particularly successful thing to have. Um, I think the, the Seahawks are going to be bad. Maybe we'll see Drew Locke. Maybe he'll revitalize his career i doubt it um i feel bad for dk metcalf 
I think he's going to be in a tough quarterback situation this year. Hey, thanks for checking out that clip. If you liked it, uh, go over to our podcast. I have a whole episode layout, laid out. Or you can check it out on our YouTube channel at the end of the week where I'll put it all together. Or if you can't wait, just check out the clips that are out. I have each division at its own video. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.